My wife's office is finally complete after a couple months of working on it. That's where we're at now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna automate her blinds and I'm gonna do it without using any tools. The way I'm gonna do this is using the SwitchBot blind tilt. Now, automating blinds is fun. It's cool if you're into the smart home, but this serves a practical reason in here. The sun sets to the west, and there are times when my wife leaves the office, has the blinds open, and she may not come in before that sun starts to heat up the room. Now we could have the blind shut automatically, which helps keep the room cooler and save us some money on the air conditioning costs. If you're not familiar with SwitchBot, they've been making solutions to automate the things you already have. One of their first products was the SwitchBot Bot. I use one of these to turn on my coffee machine for me in the morning when my alarm goes off. Also in the morning, I use one of the SwitchBot curtains so at 7 a.m. my curtains open up automatically for me and then at sunset they close. I didn't have to buy new blinds. I just automated what I already have. Their devices are also great for renters or people who can't change out their lock for a smart lock or install new smart switches. SwitchBot's latest product, the SwitchBot Blind Tilt, is meant to carry on that automating what you already have. You can take the horizontal blinds you already have, attach the wand, and then from that point you can automate them. You don't have to use any tools. Now what's cool about the Blind Tilt is that it's battery powered. You don't ever have to change the batteries, it's a rechargeable battery inside that gets charged by the sun. So as they say, it's eco-friendly because you don't need those batteries or pay for electricity costs because you can capture it from the sun. Also, you can use these so that they automatically shut the blinds when a room gets too hot. So you save on cooling costs too. The SwitchBot blind tilt is easy to set up. You have the main unit, the solar panel piece that also serves as the hanging point, and then you have the adapters for your wand and the clip that will actually mount this. Now to get started with the setup, you download the app and you pair this to the app first before even mounting it. From there, you find the adapter that works on your wand. You place it according to their little template sticker. Once you have the adapter on, you take the main unit, you attach the solar panel to it, and then you attach this to the adapter and it's secured onto the wand. After that, you would feed this through the blind so it's on the window side, and this becomes the thing that goes through here to actually hang on. We're gonna use double stick tape on it. No reason for tools or screws. After you have the clip mounted to your blinds you and you have it at the right height, you run the cable through here, you attach this to your wall, and you're ready. Here's a look at the solar panel from the outside. Once they're all powered up and set up in the app, you run through the calibration so it knows where open and closed is. Then you're ready to go and start programming automations. Now once you have them set up, you have multiple ways of controlling them. By default, you use Bluetooth from your phone and the SwitchBot app to control them. Here's the app and you could do the controls right here. Or if you go into the settings, you can adjust it to where you want it. Uh, right now, there's two different modes. There's performance mode and there's silent mode. This is performance. It's quicker but louder. You do have the close down, fully open and close up, but you can save different positions if you want and slide it to get it to where you want. Now this is silent mode, so let's open them in silent and it will be quieter but slower. When these units start to ship, they will ship quieter than the ones you're hearing here. Some other options in the app are the light sensing, delay, and scheduling. For light sensing, you can go in and you can have different levels of light to determine how it responds. You can also schedule when you want them to open or close. They do use Bluetooth 5.0, so it helps with a longer range. But if you pair it up with a Hub Mini, you can use it with Smart Assistant. You could go with Google Assistant, Alexa, Samsung Smart Things, and it works with Siri. I prefer that these work with Apple's HomeKit, but you can still put them into automations using shortcuts. Like in my house, I have an automation that at 7 a.m. 
it opens the curtains, and then at sunset, it closes the curtains. Now I'm gonna close them using Siri shortcuts from my Apple Watch. Close blinds. That's done. And now it's going to run. Here's an example using them with Alexa. Now let's open them using our voice. Alexa, open blinds. I do also like that you can pair it with the SwitchBot remote. That gives you that manual control, so if you want to pick times that you want to open or close them, that way you're not always relying on voice or automations. I like physical buttons still. I've paired it with the mini remote, so I can push a button to close it. Now, if you have a SwitchBot meter plus in the same room, if the temperature gets too hot in the room, it can automatically close the blinds for you. Another cool one that I like is being able to use the NFC tags. And you can pick an action for the NFC tags. So if you, anytime you walk in the room, you want to open the blinds, you just touch your phone and it will open it up for you. Here's an NFC tag that's set to close. I do like that the SwitchBot blind is not too big. You don't have to worry about charging it because it is solar. It's easy to put into the different automations. And it's just nice to see the blinds open and close automatically. Now, if you'd like to order one, they are available today, October 21st on Kickstarter using the link down below. They are $69.99 and scheduled to be delivered before Christmas. Now, are you interested in automating your blinds or curtains? Let us know in the comments section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great smart home information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.